Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a super fun dimensional project. Today I'm showcasing the latest die set by Tonic Studios. This is their new designer's choice collection for this month and it comes with all these dies. I know that they look very complicated when you see them flat, but check out what they create. This is super adorable, you can open up the top. And you may notice here that this doesn't have a bottom, but this is just a prototype that I put together just to see how all these dies work. The lid doesn't fall off, it's easy to put it back together, and it even has a little uh, hole where you can put a straw inside just for decoration. There are dies to decorate the cup, like for example a little sleeve to put all around, and I'm going to show you different ways on how you can uh, uh, decorate it. I think it is really adorable, you can add inside little treats or even a gift, and it can work as a gift box or a treat box. There are three main dies that cut out the base, so the large one was for the base, the actual cup, and the two next ones are for the top. Now there are many other dies that I'm going to show you as I put things together, just so I will not confuse you. So first of all I'm going to do the die cutting. For the actual cup I'm going to use the orange cardstock, and that's because I think it's going to help you uh, distinguish what I'm die cutting every time. Now for the leads I'm going to use the two small dies and for that I'm going to use yellow. So all the yellow pieces are going to be for the top while the oranges are only going to be for the actual cup. You need four pieces for each one of those dies. So I have four orange pieces which I am going to reinforce with my bone folder wherever I see a crease. These dies don't only cut out the shapes, but they also add scoring lines, so they make it super easy. You see I'm just uh, uh, folding everything and I'm going over them with my bone folder, just because I think that they having a very nice crisp edge, it really makes a difference when you put everything together. Now I have placed all those pieces pretty side up, and on the right there is a big flap. This is where I am adding double-sided tape. Of course you can use uh, your glue, your liquid glue. You can use your red tape if you want an even stronger bond. I think I'm good enough with the double-sided tape and it did turn out just fine. I peel off all the backing and I like to combine all these pieces flat. So I'm just laying them on top of my glass mat making sure that I align the bottom and the top corners. The last piece there and then all I have to do is to connect the two edges and this is going to turn dimensional. By having that completely flat I do have the ability to reinforce the bond with my bone folder. So this is the actual cup and where you will be able to add inside the treats or your gift. Of course you need a bottom, for that you are going to use this die and uh, you can use just one and stick it at the back, but I like to cut out two just because this way I have a stronger bond and by laying one of those just inside, dropping it inside, you will see that it, it, it aligns nicely all those tabs and it makes it easier for me to put things together. Keep in mind that the one that I dropped inside doesn't have any glue, I just dropped it inside so that it keeps those uh, pieces together, but now I can add glue so these two bottoms are going to stick together. This is going to end up in a nicer and neater look on the inside since you will not be able to see the flaps. But this is just my way, you can add only the bottom on the outside. For the lid you have four identical pieces and the process is identical just like I did with the first pieces. I'm going to reinforce all the scoring lines and then I'm going to add double sided tape on the flaps. And this is what you get once you connect all those in a row just like I did with the orange pieces. Now if you notice there are tiny little tabs in between those. So I'm going to add a tot of glue and hold them with my fingers. Here is how this is going to end up looking and make sure that the bottom tabs are turned towards the outside. Now use two dies to cut out two more pieces. These are the two dies that we are going to use and here are the two pieces. We are going to use these two pieces to make the lid look more neat and professional since you can see all those um, scoring lines at the moment as well as the tabs and the glues. So I'm going to place this and you will see that this is going to leave just one hole and this is where you will be able later on to put the straw. 
And finally, to cover up all those tabs on the outside, I'm going to use glue over those tabs and then stick on top that ring. To finish off the lid, we need to do one more thing. So here are the four next pieces, again reinforcing the scoring lines. Notice there are two small tabs on each side. This is where I added double-sided tape. I peeled off the packing so they are sticky and now I'm going to align first the bottom tab, then I'm going to bend and stick the top. I'm going to repeat the same process for all these all around until I have a hexagon. And again, just because these already have scoring lines that are reinforced, it's really easy to put together. As you move along, you will find that one tab actually falls on top of the other, which makes it super easy, there is no guessing at all here. Finally, you need to stick those two yellow pieces together. For that, I'm using my trusty Nouveau Deluxe glue. And then I'm going to align them and press them firmly until I know they have a good bond. So everything is ready now, just put the lid on top of your cup, add your treats inside, a little straw just for the fun of it and now you can decorate the outside. Now the sky is the limit when it comes to decorating things. You can decorate them based on the season and there are many dyes included in the set that you can use. For example, this, if you cut it out four times and connect it one next to the other, it's going to create a little wrap. There is this dye that you can use to decorate all those um, edges and there is a lovely stitching all around. I'm not going to use that for today. Finally, there are many other dyes that give you sentiments that you can cut out from the sleeve. And there are even circle ones that you can use as uh, decorations that they even emboss sentiments on top. So just mix and match what you get in the die set. Use other dies that you probably already have at home and you can create something really unique and special. Here is how you can put the sleeve together. Just add double-sided tape on the tab. Then lay them one next to the other, really easy to align top and bottom. Connect the two ends together. You can use your fingers to add a little bit of a curve on those pieces. And then all you need to do is to slide it on your cup. And I think that this sleeve really makes a difference on the design. So for the first white cup I went clean and simple, all I did was to combine dyes from the kit in greens and whites and uh, I'm going to keep it like that, just traditional coffee cup with a straw inside. And now for my colorful coffee cup I was inspired by fall, that's why I die cut a brown sleeve. Now I'm also going to stamp Hello Autumn with brown ink. I'm going to glue that on top of my band just to add a little bit of extra something. And then I used dies from a previous craft kit by uh, Tonic Studios to die cut all those leaves and create a little cluster. And here are some close-up photos on the two coffee cups that I created. I had so much fun putting them together and I think they make a really unique and cool gift boxes and treat boxes. So thank you all so much for watching, you will find links down below to everything I used. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.